真真真真真真真真真，真真真真真真真真。Welcome back to the exchange. It's I, Michelle, and I'm with Amos Chimba and Joshua. We're so glad to be back. We're back to talk about talk, talk about uh, sorry, talk about the Word of God. The Word of God. Talk about Jesus. To talk about Jesus. Talk about God. To talk about God. Talk about the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we have to talk about the Holy Spirit, yeah. and we are at the Pau. What is it called? We are at um penthouse. at the penthouse of the Pau residence. Yeah. Yep. And um, this penthouse goes for six hundred and eighty-four thousand U.S. dollars. And uh, if you want to stay here for the night, it's nine hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. For you and your family, it's really huge. Mm, Lots of rooms, and all of them have bathrooms on the inside, and it's got a beautiful view. And yeah. we have. Do you know what piped music is? All the way from the lift downstairs, yeah. you hear yeah. some serene music. Dun, 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 dun. So you can bring your flash disc if you're here yeah. on holiday, and you can have your kind of music mm. while you chill here. And then you can go play golf. You can go to the Maisha Spa, and you know treat yourself. It's heaven in this place, yeah. and we're so honored to be here. Now, guys. Monopoly. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, easy, guys. <laughs> Have we prayed even? Just say it. It's your turn to lead. Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful time you have given us again in your mm. presence. Amen. We welcome your spirit of the living God, mm. because it is not by power, not by mighty, but by your spirit. For it is only by your spirit that we know you, that we know you more and more. Amen. We are here to know you and resign from our understanding Hallelujah. and accept your own understanding. Amen. We bless you and praise you. May you come and do us good. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, so, praise him. Uh, uh, <laughs> praise his name. Okay, so I Amen. want, um, as, as we are seated on this um, table, as we, are, as we are going to share the word of God to mm-hmm. the people of God, mm-hmm. to the beloved of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. um, God speaks. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. God speaks. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone out there, you've been asking yourself, does God speak? Does this God, does, does he... You know, he, me, before I started reading my Bible, I used to yeah. find such people funny. Yeah, God yeah. said this. I'm like, where did you get his number? Let me yeah. tell you a story. One time, I have this huge testimony in my life. Mm. God is expatriating me from here to Nairobi. So I went and told my pastor, Pastor Betty. I mm. love that lady. And um, Pastor Betty Rogomayo. I said to her, hey, I have a testimony. I'm being expatriated to mm. another country. Yeah. And then she asked me, Michelle, what is God saying about it? I looked at the lady. I'm like, okay, what a party spoiler. I wanted to ask her, like, how am I supposed to know he's high up there? Because mm, yeah. at that time, I didn't know how God speaks, right? Yeah. And now later on, when I think about the exchange that we had, I realized now that I was just a baby on milk. I didn't mm. know I was in that category that... The people that you're talking to that they don't know how God speaks or he, if he speaks at all mm-hmm. and for her she was of the view that those that are led by the spirit are the true sons of God so thank you so much for moving countries but who are you going with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there you go yeah so God speaks in various ways and by the grace of God by the power of the Holy Spirit and his leading uh, I want us to try and break down the different ways okay. how mm-hmm. God speaks mm-hmm. like but from locally, yeah. before you break down mm. the different ways of how God speaks, we mm. need to understand mm. uh, John chapter 10, verse 27. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People who don't let us even read the <laughs> scripture first day. You need Job to understand 10. Job 10, 10, verse 27. All right, all he right. He says, uh-huh. 10, 27. Yes. Mm-hmm. My sheep hear. My voice. My voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and actually, I know them. Yeah. And they and and I know them. And they, and they follow, follow me. And they follow me. And so, I give yeah. So the 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 different voices. We need to understand one thing. Mm. Are you a sheep? Are you a goat? Are you a, are bull? You a bull? A yeah. bull? unreasoning animal? Or chicken? Or chicken? Yeah. Mm. Because it is only the sheep. Mm. And who are the sheep? Eh? 
unreasoning animal. Do you know who an unreasoning animal is? <laughs> it is in the Bible. He's not is making it? up words. We go to Jude. <laughs> it is those who don't know. <laughs> Wait, we yeah. first go. Now I need more bookmarkers. Yeah. The book of Jude is where? Last book. Second, Second last book. Last. Before Second. Revelation. Before the one page chapter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, it's one ten. Jude one ten. I think we should give it the memory cup of our terms there. Jude. Mm, it, it, will, it might derail us. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know us. Eh? Okay. But these people speak evil mm. of whatever they do not know. Mm. Those who are not cheap. No, no. <laughs> These people speak evil of whatever they do not know. When they have Personal. no idea about it, they speak evil. Anything you don't have an idea of. Keep quiet. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. For the sake of living yes. peaceably with everyone, hey. mm. every anything you don't have an idea of, it's better you keep quiet. These people <laughs> speak <laughs> evil. <laughs> Guys, these people, I know your people, wait. These people speak evil eh, of whatever they do not know and whatever they know naturally, like brute beasts. Mm. Wow. In these things, they corrupt themselves. Yeah. Which one says un- unreasoning animals? Is it your version? It, it is that version. It's it's even mine, yes. Verse 10. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yet these men speak abusive, abusively mm-hmm. against whatever they do not understand. Mm-hmm. And what things they don't understand. And, and what, what things, things they, they do. do understand by instinct. <laughs> like <laughs> unreasoning instinct. animals. Unreasoning animals. Mm-hmm. Which means if you don't hear the voice of God, <laughs> the people who hear the voice of God are his sheep. Yeah. Those that don't are unreasoning animals because yeah. they're they're hearing other voices. Yeah. For that reason, they can't reason the way God expects them to reason. Wow! And and by sheep, you don't mean that you're an animal. Mm. It's just a symbol. A term for those that yeah. follow Christ, because yeah. He's the shepherd. Yeah. Mm. And He says, "My sheep." Yeah, yeah, my my sheep. Yeah. So not every follow sheep me. is God's sheep. My sheep. Yeah, my voice. Yeah. Hear my, my sheep voice. hear my voice, and I know them. Does mm. God know you? <laughs> Not everyone is God's sheep. Uh, uh. There are those yes, that don't. Sheep. <laughs> don't uh, uh, first listen, because when you read the same, uh, when you read high above there, he says, uh-huh. it says John, John 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 27. <laughs> John 10, 27. Uh-huh. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. And there is a scripture that says, these shepherds that Jesus, the pastors, the apostles, the prophets, mm-hmm. to be our shepherds here on earth, they mm-hmm. are just hired men. Mm-hmm. They are just hired to guide us. Mm-hmm. Okay? Hired so God. ask yourself, are you a follower of Christ or you a follower of your of his pastor, employee? Of his employee. Which voice are you hearing? Which voice do you hear? Which voice do ah, you Ah, I know to? where you're taking me. <laughs> we have two people, two examples. Mm-hmm. My favorite, uh, my revelation of the week is two guys, Samuel and... Moses. Moses. Okay. Samuel was called by God, <laughs> but he had the name of Pastor. Yeah. First Samuel chapter three. <laughs> so we need to be able to differentiate the two. Yeah. Which voice? First Which Samuel voice? Chapter three. Verse two. Mm. Verse two. Ah, not verse two. Wait. <laughs> chapter verse three. Four. Verse four. Mm-hmm. Three then verse the four. Lord, mm-hmm. Then the Lord called Samuel. Verse one. Verse one. Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli the priest. Mm. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Yeah. There was no widespread revelation. My, my, my version says there were not many visions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it came to pass at that time when Eli was lying down in his place. And when his eyes had begun to grow so dim mm. that he could not see... And before the lamp of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord where the ark of God was. Mm. And while Samuel was lying down, that the Lord called Samuel. Mm. And he answered, here I am. So he ran to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. Yeah. God called, the boy ran to the priest. Yeah. Hmm? And, and he said, I did not call you, lie down. And he went and lay down. And then the Lord called Samuel again. So Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, here I am. For you called me. Mm. And Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Lie down. Now Samuel did not know yet Yet. the Lord. Nor was the word of God yet revealed to Mm. him. Mm. Why didn't he know yet the voice? He was not in the word of God. 
Wow. So he, 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 he couldn't get uh, he couldn't um design whether it's uh, the prophet but sorry the, the, the priest? priest calling him mm. or God calling him. Can I share a funny story? <laughs> I went to see a, a prophet sent mm. for me um, in um I think it was 2017. Maureen, my sister, mm. went to see this man of God. About I don't know you know in that era when you look for so many people to pray for yeah. you at the beginning of salvation like oh there's this person oh let me go so you can pray for me. <laughs> Maureen went. Who's that now distracting? Maureen went and um, this man said, Ah, I saw you in a vision yesterday, but you came with a sister. Do you have a sister that lives outside of the country? Mm. Maureen says, I have two. One in Nairobi, one in in, in, mm. in um, London. Which one are you very close to right now? So he said, he said to her, make sure she comes and sees me when she's in the country. Mm. So when I came back to Uganda, Maureen said, you have to go and see this man. Uh huh. I showed up. 2017, I met Jesus last year, so I still have a bit of me. Mm. I showed up in the dress, the length of a t-shirt, which was my lifestyle then, yeah. Yeah. and some flip-flops. The man looked at me and said, the face is the one. But God, then he shook his head. So me, I didn't know what he meant. Mm. <laughs> and then he told me something. Well, he gave me a prophecy, mm. a heavy one, which I can now see. But this is what he said to me. God has been, in fact, he told me, in the vision, you, you, you look a lot bigger. Mm. Must be the weight now. Eh? Mm. But then he told me that um, God has been calling you all this time, mm. but you can't hear his voice. Then he asked me, do you do farming? Then I had this um, place in Zerubba where I used to go, well, point at people to dig, mm. not do the actual farming every Saturday. So this man told me, even um, last time you were at your farm, the Lord called your voice. I did not hear a thing. Mm. So at least Samuel mm. had Eli's voice instead of God's. Yeah. Me, eh? boom, closed, boom, closed. Yes. No wonder he had to drag me by my nose to church. Yeah. Locally, it has just reminded me, I've been looking for that scripture, that when you were still young, mm. you were under certain authorities. Mm. Mm. Yes? But he says like this, for you have not received the spirit, Mm. of fear mm -hmm. by the spirit that crieth Abba Father mm. Mm. carry on let me check on the person at the door. carry on mm -hmm. you know where the scripture is because it's... when you were still young you were under certain authorities yeah but when when you mature to that level your hands were tied your hands were tied and you were carried yeah. To go to places where it um, is I, I I don't remember where it is, but I, I the concept is like when you were still young, you used to go wherever you, you had the liberty to go wherever you wanted. But as you grew as as you grow up, okay, when you grow up, your hands were tied and you were led to places where you personally don't want to go. Okay, you were carried to places where you personally don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the concept of the scripture. So, wh why I was trying to bring out that that we see that someone mm -hmm. had not yet known the, the word of God, matured to know God, mm. or the word had not yet been revealed to him. Mm. Yes, that's why he could not hear. Could not hear. My sheep know my voice. Mm. So, in a to hear, his voice means you're not yet his sheep. First, listen. I, I shared know. with you once uh, as, well, they say, that scripture mm -hmm. says, My sheep know my voice. Mm -hmm. So, to me, I feel like everyone hears the voice, mm -hmm. okay? But mm -hmm. the sheep know that this is God speaking. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, you meet someone and they're like, Because mm -hmm. everybody does. I, I felt, I felt like right. I shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Now, look at what has happened. Mm -hmm. okay? I felt like I. I, I I saw this somewhere. Did you see the documentary of the yeah. Twin Towers? There's a documentary that was showed. Mm. And everybody who survived the Twin Towers um, accident, there's a, there's a lady they showed that she was supposed to be at her desk in the office. But she felt the sudden urge to go to the laundrette to pick up her laundry. Mm. And as she was there, that's when she looked back and the building was falling. Mm. Another person had run off to buy a coffee. Another person was delayed at home by a plumber. <laughs> plumbing. Mm. And then the building fell. So... I love God for that. Yeah. That even before we know him, yeah. his voice is there. Yeah. 
So that, that's I think that's what you come to verify. Listen, he says here in Isaiah 30, 21. Mm-hmm. And your ears will hear what behind you. <laughs> saying, mm. this is the way. Mm. That's how someone said, you know, you change to say, now we Now we day, you know. Mm. This, this is the way. Mm. Walk in it. Mm. When you turn to the right hand, mm. and when you turn to the left, mm. your ears will hear a, a word behind. Yeah. I know I know this man wants to take us away, but give me one more second. Eh? I like that God speaks to us all. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily mean the born again. Yeah. I'm talking about King Cyrus, the guy who allows the Israelites to come back and rebuild the temple of mm. um, Jerusalem yeah. and to rebuild the walls. Isaiah 45, verse 1. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, Cyrus. whose right hand I have held. Cyrus was not born again. Mm. Cyrus did not know God. He was as pagan as they come. I think that one we shall find over in the book of Ezra, somewhere either Ezra or Nehemiah. I don't want to prolong it. Ezra. But Ezra. he goes ahead to say here Ezra seven. Mm. that um, verse 4, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, <laughs> I have even called you by your name, and I have named you, though you have not known me. Wow. So God can speak, though you don't know him. God uses yeah. donkeys. Do you wow. remember the donkey of Balaam and yeah. Balak? The, the donkey that spoke to mm-hmm. yeah. no, yeah. so, Proceed. <laughs> so, <laughs> We've um, thrown you, of course. Eh? So, so some people, uh, mm-hmm. he has read to us, to us a scripture, mm-hmm. Isaiah 30, 21. Mm-hmm. Whether you turn to the right mm-hmm. or to the left, mm-hmm. your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Wow. Okay? 30. I so, don't know that scripture. That's ma- 21. Ma- yeah. mm. Many of the people listening may be, you've been so beautiful. hearing something consecutively. Okay? Yeah. The, the voice may have yeah. been very, very uh, subtle. Oh. He's saying, don't do it. Don't marry wow. her. You get. Don't marry her. It, it, it wow. might have been through maybe a vision. Wow. Mm. Maybe a, maybe a conviction. You've had a conviction for a long but time. But your heart is overpowering. Your voice. M- m- maybe a dream. <laughs> and, okay. and here is, he's telling them, wow. you whenever you're walking, there is that still voice that speaks to you. This is the way. This mm. is the way. Turn mm. right. When mm. you turn left, it tells you turn right. Look okay. And you know what happens As when you don't hear that <laughs> voice? Cancel camp aside. It has just reminded me. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's just reminded Stop me. Of, worrying, oh, <laughs> us. <laughs> that's reminded me of, of, of Zedekiah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, no wonder some of us, the word of God comes. He says mm. they will hear, but they will not perceive. Will not perceive. Mm. He chooses who perceives. Okay. Yes. Because yeah, God continues directing even the wicked. Mm. Mm. Because Zedekiah meets King. Je- he meets Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. I think it is First Kings seventeen. There, mm. he meets Jeremiah. I'm not sure whether it's seventeen, but I remember Second Kings, the last books of, of First Kings or mm. Second Kings. Mm. He meets Jeremiah, mm. and his fate, he believes he's going to meet King Nebuchadnezzar, mm-hmm. who is going to come and siege mm. the city. Mm-hmm. But Zedekiah mm. was a very bad king. Mm. He did all evil. Mm. Mm. In the sight of God, but now mm-hmm. he goes to inquire mm. from the man of God, mm. and he, he says, uh, "Jeremiah, tell me, what will surely happen to me?" Jeremiah was scared for his life. Mm. He had to tell him, "Are you sure you won't kill me?" Mm. Then he had to swear to him that he won't kill him. Yeah, but he continued to say to him mm. that the king of Nebuchadnezzar or the Chaldeans are going to come and take siege. Yes. Over this city, but I tell you, the word Watch of God that says. Watch on YouTube. Mm. The word of God says to you, mm-hmm. surrender to Him, mm. Mm. that your family may be served. May be saved. Don't you see that God is so good that it's He continues precious. to speak even to the wicked? Yeah, mm. but they don't perceive. Mm-mm. They do not listen. Zedekiah didn't perceive. Mm. He did mm. not listen, neither mm. believed mm. in the words that were told to mm. him. But mm. he ran for his life, and yeah. you know what happened to him? Mm-mm. King Nebuchadnezzar got him. Mm-hmm. He he killed all his sons in front of his eyes, mm. and yeah. even removed his eyes. Yes, because gouged them out. Mm. Now it's so amazing mm-hmm. how the word of God mm. comes to all of us. Yes, as He has spoken here in Isaiah thirty twenty one, mm. that some of us hear that sound mm. behind us mm. saying to us, mm. "Turn this way, 
Mm. Walk not here. Mm. But because we are not sheep, mm. we don't perceive. Yeah, because know. we are not sheep. I'm looking for a scripture desperately mm. that says, um, because you did not heed my instructions, I gave you over to the desires of your hearts. Now you face the music. It is somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> this one is in Psalms. Eh? Is it Psalms 81? Is it 81? Eh? 81, 11. I want to read it. Because some people hear and then they pretend they haven't heard. So they need to know the consequences as well. It is in Psalm 81, verse 11. It says, okay. But my people mm. would not heed my voice. These are the sheep who hear and don't do. Hmm? Yeah. And Israel would have none of me. Mm. Okay. So I gave them over to their own stubborn hearts. Hearts to follow them. To walk in their own counsels. Yeah. And then he goes ahead to say, Oh, that my people would listen to me. Mm. That Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Mm. In other words, the things we're dealing with that won't go away is because we won't hear the voice, because we don't read the word. That's why the bondage takes forever. Yeah. Listen to what he says in Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass... If thou shalt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm. and to observe, mm. and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, mm. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on earth. Mm. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake if you. If you hearken diligently to his hearken. voice. Yeah. If you hearken diligently mm -hmm. to the voice of God, because we have number one sin, this voice of God comes to everyone. Yeah. It comes. Yeah. So much. Everyone. Actually, He guides Mama Fina. We're all His children. He guides her. Do not pass here. There mm, is a not, he loves us do all. Not, do not touch this. Mm. Do not go into that business deal. Mm. No wonder some of us are still there in the world. Mm. And I still even experiencing that love of God that He has protected us, and somehow we are it prospered. It can reduce you yeah. to tears. Somehow we are prospered. Yeah. But He says, if you will listen diligently, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you fully obey mm -hmm. your God. to the voice of the Lord mm. your God, mm. being watchful to all His commandments, mm -hmm. now we are coming to the Word. Mm. So we have to be in the Word. To tap into any manner of blessings. There's yes. no other formula. It's purely the word of God. And yet we saw another reverse of this. Ah, let me read for you. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today, that all these curses will come upon you and you and overtake, overtake you. The curses are many. Yeah. So, uh, for, for someone that's watching and... Mm. Maybe uh, someone has been coming to you or different people have been coming to you with the same message, telling you the same thing. Maybe accept Jesus. Mm. Maybe don't do this. Don't go this way. Don't go this way. Mm. Uh, because you have people there that they live their life, mm. but it's as if they are led by God. Okay? Yeah. But mm. when you sit with them, they are not mm. actually born again. Yeah. Okay. But there is a way God guides the their hearts. Okay? Yeah. Then that's the love of God. Mm. That's the love of God. Mm. But then He wants you to come out of that ignorance and then start, uh, so that He can take you on another level to grow. Okay. Yeah. And then you, who is born again, so that you can, He can take you higher and higher in this thing. So okay. you can get to play Jesus, and draw more souls unto yeah. Him. I don't know why we are going back. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hebrews 4 7 says, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hebrews 4 7. Mm -hmm. Again, mm. he limited a certain day, saying in David, He today, limited. He limited. I'm <laughs> reading KJV. Okay. Again, he, li he limited a certain day. I'm reading Hebrews 4 7. 4 7. Mm -hmm. Saying, in David, today, after so a long time, as it said today, if you will hear his voice and harden not your heart. Mm -hmm. And harden, okay, not your heart, yeah. 
and harden not your hearts. Mm. So there are still people that hear the voice, but they harden so, their hearts. This, as we, we read from verse 1, mm. there are for a while this promise of entering. What is rest, which is still even spoken to us? You know, very many... Last time we were, we were actually looking that in Kampala and Tebe Road, mm. the gospel is being preached. Everywhere. Yeah. Day and night, the word of God has, has been preached hey. to everyone. Every two seconds. And you know, we have heard it. Mm. No one can say you have not heard it. No, no, no. no. Everyone has heard when, it. When you become TV chicken yes. and you inhale and they are roasting you round and round, you can't but say. But if you hear that voice mm. and you harden your heart, mm. like mm. you reject. He loves us. You reject mm. that heart. Mm. You reject that, those words. Mm. That's how you will see So we're on the primary way of hearing from God, and yeah, that yeah. is through the Bible. If you don't read the Bible, one, you'll never be able to interpret your own dreams. Yeah, yeah. We have horror stories, people that t- tell us about, oh, every dream interpretation you get ends as a horror movie. Mm-hmm. And you're thinking, where's the God of jo- Joseph? <laughs> we saw that when Joseph went to interpret a dream, mm. first thing, when Pharaoh asks him about these skinny cows and fat cows, first thing Pharaoh, um, Joseph says was, God will interpret that dream. Yeah. And he goes back and seeks the Lord. Mm. When he comes back with an answer, he, he goes ahead to say to him, God would like you, he gives a solution. Yeah. Yes, it's not a good interpretation. There's going to be a famine in seven years and and na, 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 na. But if you choose a wise man mm. to do A, B, C, D, then you will not go through this drama. It's we have people yeah. who call people for dream interpretation and it's always a case of, Bad news, but yeah, yeah. yeah. and I'm thinking, who did solution. you phone? Yeah. Where's the solution? Where's the scripture to counterattack that mm-hmm. demon? Mm-hmm. So instead, the spirit of fear is planted mm-hmm. because of lack of wisdom. Locally, I've seen whenever the word of God comes, it comes with peace. It comes with with life. For He mm-hmm. says, whoever life, with, yeah. whoever hears this voice and believes mm-hmm. will receive life eternal. If mm-hmm. Pharaoh mm-hmm. did not listen to the voice of Joseph. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Surely you will be dead. Mm. The entire country will be dead. Mm-hmm. But we credit Pharaoh yeah. for having hearkened to the voice. To Baby the voice. Pharaoh had no choice. Everybody failed. Everybody failed. <laughs> you mm. know, mm. to hearken to the voice. You see how even a, a heathen, mm. 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 Mm-hmm. No why you say 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 No you say No why 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 you say No you you it's the scripture makes it clear if you fully obey it, it doesn't say for the, for, 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 for the Israelites for only for, it says if you fully obey the, the, these scriptures are for everyone this, this for is as a, long as you operate in what is written this okay. book is a get rich quick book yeah. if you follow the principles it's a shortcut it's a shortcut Psalm 41 <laughs> eh? let I'm me read short- for you how Mama Fina is rich most people, most people say that they are not Shortcuts in salvation. It's shortcuts is read the Bible. I know, I know what they mean, mm. but then the more you and, and dwell some, in the presence, some the people say who has understood the mind of Christ, the one who has read it. Scripture, um, Psalm, Psalm 41. 41. Listen, blessed is he who considers the poor, okay. whether Gentile or Greek, circumcised or uncircumcised. Mm. Hmm? The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he'll be blessed on earth. The Lord, the Lord will not deliver him into the hands of his enemies. Mm, wow. So the, the, it's, it all starts with blessing the poor. There's a, another scripture in here that says the Lord is on the right hand side of the poor. Yeah. Every time you give a poor person, you're giving to the Lord. Mm. So when you see these people giving, being so rich, I like my mo- Muslim brothers. Mm. Do you know that um, uh, I have a, a Muslim friend. She told me that um, is it two days before Eid, mm. when they've been fasting, they're required to take two kgs of rice to, to the mosque mm. so that mm. they can give to the brethren that has nothing to prepare for Eid. Mm. So they can have something to prepare. But, and when all of that is said, their gates are ajar, wide open. Eid. Mm. Me, before I met Christ, eh, I had like two Muslim friends. 
one went missing, Jamal. I don't know where he is. His Ian's friend used to work at Airtel. Mm. You know to dress up and go eat. Mm. If you can't go, you send your dishes on a border. Mm. And when they're cooking, they don't ask you, how many friends do you have? You, how many friends do you have? They just give everyone. Mm. That's principle. Take care of the needy and your God's friend. Um, for, for, for someone <laughs> waiting upon the Lord, uh, there is something I discovered. Mm. That scripture that says, they that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. Uh, that period of waiting, for real, it might be long. Okay? It can be for it hundred years. It can be long. <laughs> <laughs> because God, uh, Jesus tells them. Appointed time. Jesus tells them, I'm coming back soon. Eh, but up to now, we are still waiting. Soon. Okay. Eh, but he said, they that wait, wait upon the Lord eh. shall renew their mm. strength. Mm. Okay. Mm. They shall mount up with wings. Like eagles. Like eagles and fly. So one of, an eagle is a bird, one of the, uh, the fastest flying birds mm -hmm. and a bird with vision mm. one of the birds with the clearest vision mm -hmm. okay mm. so as in that period mm. of waiting mm. it's like a period of how can i say gaining momentum that the time the moment god comes through things mm. are going to work quick 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 and you personally since you've been waiting mm. in the right way in the right way. Okay. The right there way. is a way you're going you to know be how like, to maintain your deliverance you're going to be mm -hmm. like a topic. to handle your cash uh -huh. You're going to be like it to be nine million you're for the to, poor street kids. First of all, you're going to have, you're going to be you're going to have vision because in that moment of waiting the, waiting upon the Lord, God speaks to us. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, he directs God you speaks to us. on his money which he has given you. Locally, and, yeah. mm. Locally, I've come to realize the prior episode we spoke about. Mm -hmm. I've seen God elevating now to another step. Mm -hmm. We saw number one, mm. you having received Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You start fellowshipping with mm. him. Mm. You have the communion with him. Mm. So you become a sheep. Mm. You start communing with his word. Mm -hmm. And when you start communing with his word, mm -hmm. you start communing with the spirit of the living God. He comes. Mm. And when he comes, mm -hmm. this is what the Bible says in uh, St. John 15, mm -hmm. verse 13, mm -hmm. 16, 13. Mm -hmm. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes he will guide you into all truth into all truth for mm -hmm. he will he will not speak his, his own, own. on his mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. his own message mm -hmm. but he will tell you whatever he hears thank you so much things to come whatever he hears mm -hmm. from the father he will give the message that he has been given to him and he will announce and declare to you the things that are to come uh, mm -hmm. that means Kakati. This, first first wait, uh, that means the spirit of god will never or can never be effective if he doesn't hear from above and come and tell you what he has heard. The Spirit of God is God himself. And yeah. the word of God is that spirit. And remember, prior, you had aligned yourself. Now you're a yeah. sheep. So, you uh, aligned yourself. A real sheep. <clears throat> Bear, you go. So if, if the spirit of God, one of the most powerful beings, mm -hmm. spiritually, he yes. hears. Then why don't you hear? <laughs> <laughs> then you, the son of God, the, the co heir with Christ, what authority do you have? Not he has, you are a co heir. You know, such humility that God Himself hears from Himself. From hey, His word. <laughs> and the word is Himself. <laughs> the word is Him. My oh my. Okay? So I feel like He, he does more than hearing and works, accord, works according to That's His That's why word. He says, mm -hmm. My sheep mm. know my voice. My voice. Yeah. And I know them. Mm. Yeah. Because now the spirit of truth is the one who is revealing to them now. Let me read for you. things to come. Let me read for you Ephesians 1 17. This is someone praying for um, another person. Hmm? Mm. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. The God yeah. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who, who you, who, whose name you mentioned when you're getting born again. Yeah, yeah. The one who, Christ who qualifies you to be a Christian. Mm. Eh? The father of glory. As in the father of everything you want as a human being. Mm. Hmm? Mm. May give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Mm. Of his word. Of you being able to hear from him. Mm -hmm. It is God who gives it to you. Hmm? Yeah. That the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. enlightened. The eyes of your intellect. The eyes of your thought process. Mm. That you may know what is the hope of his calling on your life. Mm -hmm. hmm? 
and what are the riches of the glory of his <clears throat> inheritance mm. in the saints yeah. mine says by having your eyes of your heart flooded eyes of your heart Indeed. flooded with light like a biscuit flooded with light so that you can know and understand so your heart has to be filled with light and Jesus is the light I am the way the truth and the light the yeah. word of God has to be fully in your heart now locally togera kubano abantu se ku stage eno ukiriza Kristo jukira wali bo baulira Mm. But they don't perceive. They don't know. They will be forgiven. They, but they now this one, this one has taken another level to accept Jesus Christ. He has oh. fellowshiped with His Word. The Spirit of God has come now and is now revealing to Him. Mm. How long will we have to teach you? By now you should be teachers. Yeah. But we are still teaching you. And as in your own elementary school, you've been in church nine years, but you're still in nursery school. Mm. When will you grow and graduate? so that you can go to teaching others nokoli chotegeza anti waliwo katonda batamanyi mu kanisa for he says he says my sheep are in here the bible says and i know they will come to me saying lord lord we and did miracles go away i did not know you blah 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 and he says go away i did not know you why because they did not walk according to his will he then aliye yo that we saw that one is not born again blah 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 and at some point was a kind of conviction you mugamba you give that person 50k na zimwe as what according to the will of god and then he knows that person oh, but he also tells us in that um scripture of when you fed this, the, the the hungry when you mm-hmm. visited those in prison and those in hospital oh. you gave to me now yeah. enter into the house of my father as for you who was stingy yeah. go to the fire Kaji. and you find someone that's hidden the so called gentile mm. the so called sinner they do what is in the word mm. okay mm. and that one the person who knows born again as the righteousness of god is tingy baby sweet am nyumba christmas wala bo mnako kogamba they feel they, they love because you up your window uh-huh. because even the bible says it i think it's in romans 3 something it says it and says if someone follows uh, the will of god on those two who is god going to consider mm. let me try to look for it i remember it he told me james. something james we were yes look for it we were reading james there's something in james we were reading there. james and james was speaking about james chapter 2 mm-hmm. james was speaking about the church and in the church mm-hmm. people had this issue of segregating between the rich, about it. the rich and the, the rich poor at the front <laughs> and they were sitting the rich in front mm-hmm because of their evil thoughts you know over the gola me chili wa let me go there you be accused of conversing badly mm-hmm. quote it james chapter 2 mhm i want to hear Are it there? Mm, i am wow be me. beware of personal favoritism favoritism yeah. my brethren do not hold the faith of our lord jesus christ the lord of glory with partiality mm for if there should come into your presence a man with gold rings mm-hmm. in fine apparel and there should also come in a poor man in filthy clothes and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say to him you sit here in a good place <laughs> and you to say to the poor man you stand there or you sit at the, you sit at my footstool have you not shown partiality mm. among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts haven't you haven't you so you're judging with evil thoughts muloko le chani tero kulooza anti intentions of the heart anti wegula okugeza agenda to president mo seven aze wano mukachiko kafe azo kusabira ku kanisa ya mwe wasimanyi tikolo kolo wa alimu worship team no don't go Abadde, very far if president Abadde, was that uh, came to our youth altar on Tuesdays <laughs> would fail to speak wasimanyi <laughs> chabade mu worship team ngata tajja bamugamba tajja kolachi ye isabu binyo why didn't bamugamba anti president mu seven ajja kolo omulaba nga yaso be basoka ku church saa wejo emu basi mu dekani sa yone nyirira etia azino kufobu fi jumping Mm. Mm. Like they the ark of the covenant <laughs> positioning <was> themselves <laughs> mm-hmm. because ani mm. mukwegula to the human being to the human being chokawa president yaze kusaba bibye 
<laughs> Nae abantu bano. Nkole tulo koke. Gabaina partiality. Mm. Na bagamba. Awo muna agamba motya timuino okwagala. Mm. Kubanga ebya wandiki wabigamba prior in the Old Testament. Mm. Wo menya ko chimu. Byo no byo byo. Wo bimenye byo na. Yeah. Na ye by the gambe tia for the royal and loyal law. Mm-hmm. Is love. Mm. I think we were reading NIV. Mm. NIV. Yeah. You you go pray down there you see. He was speaking about for the loyal and royal law. We are still in chapter two. James. James. Yeah. This one is James in another book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that for the royal, I remember it was saying for the royal James. and loyal law is mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. Your neighbor. Royal royalty. Royalty. And loyal yes. intention of the heart. Love your neighbor. Mm. As you love yourself. John chapter 2 verse sorry James chapter 2 verse 8. Mm. If you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing great. Yes. And he continues he continues to say that but, but if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. Yes. So that's what we saw. That faith. For mm. whoever shall keep, that's verse 10, for whoever shall keep the whole law mm. and yet stumbles in one point, he is guilty of all. Mm. <coughs> See how it is amazing. Yeah. At you know, okay. yeah. Allow me to clarify in the scripture. It's Romans 2, 14. Mm-hmm. It says, um, let me start from, from 13. For it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight. <laughs> <laughs> this has just become too complex. Because even, even that John, uh, the John 10, it, it is... says here uh-huh. and then follow. Okay? But Do here it I says, see. John, sorry, Romans 2, uh-huh. 13, it says, For it is not those who hear the law, uh-huh. sorry, it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight. Uh-huh. So about the words, they come uh-huh. out of if yes, may but the that doers. But... But it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. Let me read for you mine. For not the hearers, the hearers mm. of the law are just in the sight of God. But the doer of the law will be justified. And then verse 14. Mm-hmm. Indeed, when Gentiles who do not have the law do by nature things required by the law, they are a law for themselves, even though they do not have the law. They themselves are the law. Why? Because they have obeyed. They have done things according to the law. 15, who showed the work of the law written in their hearts? In yeah. their hearts. Their wow. conscience also bearing witness wow. yeah. and between themselves and their thoughts are accusing or else excusing them. Locally. That's how locally can be the brokest on the high street. And, then, and everyone else is prospering. <coughs> verse 15 continues and says, Since they show that sorry, since they show that the requirements of the law are written on their hearts, mm-hmm. their consciences are also bearing witness, mm-hmm. and their thoughts now accusing, now even defending them. Yeah, defending them. In the day when God will judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to thee, to my gospel. Yeah. James, let us first go back to James chapter 2. Uh, let us first go back to James because now James is speaking now to the church and he's telling them that verse 14, what is the what is it use or profit, my brethren, for anyone to profess to have faith if he has no good works? That's what happened to me and I gave my 10k to the guy last Wednesday morning at Fido Dido. Like it was screaming in my ears. I told him here. Yeah. And after I gave it to him, he said to me, oh, by the way, what do you do? I told him, don't worry, it's not important. He said, for me, I'm a born again. And it's just that my border border was um, taken by the police and I want to get it out so that I can work. Yeah. Which means that boy was led by the spirit of all the people that were in that vicinity. The spirit of the Lord said to him, that one knows. You go. No. And then heaven watched me to do the word. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. My sheep hear my voice. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know them. Yeah. Those he knows, they do. They're doers. Because mm-hmm. he says, here James was telling these ones, 
why you should you what does it benefit you to profess that you're born again that i'm yes. a sheep yeah ndi ndiga oba yes. i'm a born again but you're actually yet like actually a your works you act like a god <laughs> about an unreasoning animal, animal. <laughs> you're a snake gwage <laughs> ya Gwavuma, you are a bull bo- that when when people come to Christ, you're the one that puts you're the your stumbling hands. block. Yeah. You're the reason why people won't get born again because of Mulokole's ways. I met yeah. one time a Asha. Mulokole mm-hmm. Asha yachi malako. Tomato. Asha yali mukambwe. Eh. Yali nga gwe ba koze oba chi. Kwe gamba yali tali ya the smile ya Kristo. <laughs> na fana na sitani oh 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 nga sobolo ko goba mu kanisa mm. by the way ah ayugira bubi mm. kitufu ali mukola mm. na ye ebikolwa bi te muri mu ya de kwagala mm. but, but you see and that's why i like to talk about um first chronicles 28 it is my one of my favorite pictures or is it second chronicles 28 i think it is second chronicles 28 I always tell people it's very difficult to serve a God that you do not know. It's better you get to know him, then you can get into the business of serving him, is it? As for you, Solomon, my son, I think it's 128, eh? Mm. First Chronicles, um, sorry, um, is it 928? First Chronicles 9, no, chapter 28. First Chronicles chapter 28, verse 9, it says, As for you, Solomon, my son Solomon, know the God of your father, mm. it starts with knowing him, and then serve him serving and knowing can be tricky wow. first know him then serve him because when you get to know him when you start to serve him it means that you will serve with a loyal heart and a willing mind mm. wow. no one asked us to come here yeah. it's coming to 8 pm yeah. yeah a loyal heart and a willing mind for the lord searches all hearts and understand all understands all intents of the thoughts mm. so that yeah. asha who treated you that way She does not know the nature of God or what is expected of her. She could have good intentions of let me go serve the Lord, but she does not know who she's serving, so she does not know how to carry herself. Mm. So again it sends us back to read your word. Yeah. That's why later on that one was understood. You can now understand the different ways how God. That's why the Bible says my sheep hear. I know. Yeah. So uh, the the first step to hearing the voice of God is the word. Yeah. Definitely. Is the word because he says um John 6:63 the words I speak to you Are first true. of all I spirit mm. and life. Wow. Okay. Mm. So when you read the word of God and get to uh have more clarification ab- about this Jesus you've accepted about this God you received mm. knowing how he works. Mm. First of all it's not a rush step mm. by step no yeah. pressure. Mm. Okay? Mm. Then you'll get to know how he works in different ways and mm. the more you let this word sit in your heart mm. you'll be able to determine that no this is not God speaking. Correct you can and then this is God speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's not get into that of uh, evil spirits versus the spirit of God. We shall be here a whole night. <laughs> the voice of evil spirits. Father, we thank you. Once again, you've done us well. Very, very beautifully. We bless the Lord. Would like to bring everybody to you that wants to give their life to you because they've been in church but they've never actually like they've never really really declared you. And um please repeat after me. Dear Lord, dear Lord, I thank you thank for you. the word that you have shared. For the word today, that you shared. Today, today, I officially, I officially give you my heart. Give you my heart. And I declare with my lips and I that, with my you lips. that you are my Lord and Savior. That you are my Lord. You came here on earth. You came here on earth. You died. You died. You were buried. You were buried. And now you sit at the right hand side of the Father. And now you sit at the right hand side of the Father. And I believe that you will come back. And I believe that you will come back. And you take me as well. And take me as well. Amen. Amen. Father Thank you so much. Now send forth your spirit to everybody that's listened to this video. Visit them. Give them an urge. Give them make them restless until they start to read their bibles because we you said that in Joel that the days are coming where you pour, where, where you pour out your spirit on all flesh and then young ones will see visions that they, they'll hear from you directly. Send your spirit, Lord, for everybody that's been reading their bible and falling asleep in it. Send your spirit to wake them up. Open up the eyes of their 
understanding, the eyes of their heart to get revelation and understanding mm. so that we may enjoy this salvation work, so, so that we may make mm. the lives of those that who you've given to pastor us a lot easier, mm. so that we may have good success, so yes. that we may be prosperous here on earth and in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. We are done.